Hello ladies, I'm coming to you to show you, um, it's not really a review because I think I have reviewed all of these products before. You just have to look through my videos. Um, I don't number my videos. It's something that I forget to do. I should because it'll help me um, better refer people to videos, you know, um, if they ask me or when I'm talking about them. Um but basically, um, I wanted to come do a video on um, the butters that I use. I was recently watching Curly Girl Jess and Makeup and uh, Beauty Junkie. I think that's her name. Um, Y'all probably all know who I'm talking about. I think it's Makeup and uh, Beauty Junkie. Um, Curly Girl Jess, beware. She will turn you into a product junkie if you're not already one. I think for one weekend, I watched like half of her videos and must have changed my Black Friday list like a hundred times behind watching her videos and had to get my mind back right again. <laughs> but um, um, so if you haven't checked those young ladies out, please go and check them out. They're great YouTubers. They are on, fa they are on Facebook as well and Instagram so I was watching theirs and saw that they have some butter you know videos and I know a lot of people they do vids um, on moisturizers conditioners you know things of that nature but not too many butter um, videos so I just kind of wanted to show you come show you some of the butters well yeah really all of the butters that I use for my hair um, and I have used all of these butters on my hair and some of them hold a different purpose. So I'm going to start off with, what am I going to start off with? I'm going to start off with the Heal and Hair Butter. Now, um, I use this on my ends to, this is a really good moisturizing butter. Uh, this is by Texture Me Natural. She reformulated this butter. It was more of like a solid butter until um, over the summer she added a few more ingredients to it and made it more of a cream whipped cream opposed to like a butter and when I first tried this product when she had her old formula um, I didn't really care for it but when she reformulated it and she started doing a um, challenge or, you know, really said what it was for and was doing a challenge. I said, well, let me try it again. It's a new formula and see if I like it. And I really like this formula. It is much more moisturizing to me than her formula she had um, prior to this summer. Um, that was more in a, that was in a butter heart, a salad form. Um, this is very moisturizing. My hair uh, soaks it up very well. Um, just like her moisturizer, her leave-in that I use. Um, if I use a product on my hair that kind of takes my curl away or don't let my hair behave correctly after I put my leave-in in, I just had put this on my hair and it brought my curls back to life. Um, so I really like this butter. I always use this on my ends, especially when I'm re-moisturizing my ends and oil in my scalp. I do that three times a week. Um, and I will also, if I use a butter that I'm not familiar with or my first time using, I will layer a thin layer of this over that butter just on my ends, not my whole strand, you know, not all of my hair. So this is the healing hair butter by Texture Me Natural. Hopefully I could get through this without making this a 30 minute video. The next one is also by Texture Me Natural. And this was actually my favorite butter by her. It's the Macadamia Styling Butter. And she has different scents. I always get her sweet orange scent because I like sweet orange. Um, as you can see, this is a solid butter, but it emulsifies very well. Um, this helps it's, this is a defining and styling butter, and that's probably why I liked it because I would wear a lot of wash and go ponytails, and it really, you know, helped 
you know, my my curls or, you know, if I twist my hair and then let it out. Um, but it's also moisturizing and it's my hair soaks it up very well. Um, so this is another one of my favorite butters that I use. I haven't used it in a while, though, because I've been, you know, trying other things. But this is a favorite um, style and butter of mine. Yikes. Another one that... Um, was sent to me. This is by Heritage Hydration as a thank you gift. It's the Jar of Joe. Now this, I do not put on all of my hair. Um, this, I only put on my edges and on my nape. That's it. I love this butter. It smells like coffee, but I love cocoa butter and it has Cocoa butter is the second ingredient in this, and this really leaves the hair soft and moisturized, um, and it emulsifies very well. And so I do do put this on my edges. I try to remember to do it like every night, but I do do it at least three times a week when I do when I oil my scalp and re-moisturize my ends and stuff. Um, and so as you see. Um, because I don't use this, you can use this on all of your hair, but I don't because it's it's expensive for this. I think this jar is like thirteen dollars, and you can see I think is this is like a two ounce jar. So um, I have other, you know, um, butters that I could use on my hair, and I really like this. So I just keep this for, you know, my edges and um, the nape of uh, my nape, basically you know, in the front of my hair going all around my edges basically is what I keep this for. So I do use this every week, at least three times a week. My next one that I fell in love with is by Braddy Essentials and this is the Rose, Rose Shea Conditioning Balm. And this is a two ounce and I don't remember. I'm trying to open this. It's hard to get this open and I just put that butter on my hands. Um, I ordered this um, a couple months back. I can't remember, maybe in the fall. And this smells really good. It smells, it has cocoa butter in it. It smells like chocolate, you know, cocoa butter. And um, I also use this on my ends. And this is what I was using on the ends of my hair and around my edges before I got the Jar Joe and the Heal and Hair Butter. Again, um, so I use this sparingly as well because you don't get a whole lot of it. So I don't put it on all of my hair, but I really like this um, Rose Shea Conditioning Balm by Braddy Essentials. And I believe... They are on Etsy, if I'm not mistaken, but I did do a review on this. So just go back through my videos and look. So another one by Braddy Essentials is the Shine and Grow Hair Butter. Now I have not, as you can see, I took a scoop out of this. I haven't really gave this a full complete review because the product junkie in me just wanted to try it as soon as I got it, but my hair was already done. So I kind of just like maybe put it on my hair or my ends or I don't know. But I would say that, you know, it's probably a good butter, but I will use it soon and give a review on it. This is more like herbal. It doesn't smell herbal, but as you can see, it has like herbs and stuff in it. And um, it has a lot of good ingredients. So go, yeah, they are on Etsy. So go check out Braddy Essentials. They they also make soaps as well as hair products. Then another butter. I don't know if you would call this a butter. I don't know. It's a styling balm. This is by Main Element. I did like this. I only used it once, although it does give good definition and twists and stuff. I don't necessarily would say I would use this because it's a balm. So it does kind of make the hair kind of... Um, like a wax like stuck together it was really waxy that was the one thing I didn't like about it but it really holds your helps to hold your twist or your braid out your braids you know if you do if you do twists or mini twists this is a good um balm or butter whatever you want to call it to 
um, hold your hair, hold your twist in place and help keep the frizz at bay. Another butter that I love is this Basque Seven Fold Butter Blend Whipped Hair Butter. I've used this twice on my hair as my sealer. I love this butter. It's very, you know, whipped and I'm pretty sure it is kind of, you know, thick, creamy, but it emulsifies very well as you see. I'm going to put this on my hair. It emulsifies very well and it um, it does have a nice scent. You know, I love the citrus orange scent, lemon scent. I love lemons too. So, um, this is a staple butter of mine. The next butter is the Frothy Caramel Frappuccino Butter by Heritage Hydration. I have not used this really since the coming weeks that um, I got it, but um, it does really help to moisturize and soften the hair, kind of like the Jar of Joe. Um, I did use this to seal a few times to me in this batch anyway. The, sh the scent was really strong. Um, so I did do a review on this, but um, as you can see, it is very whipped. If you can hear it, um, it emulsifies very well. And as I said, it does, this does soak into my hair and make my hair very moisturized as well as seal. Um, but I haven't used it in a while because as you can see, I had all of these other butters I was trying. So the next one is the Comet Biologics Hydrate and Twist Butter. And I won this in Moringa Workouts uh, Anniversary, Natural Hair Anniversary Giveaway. Um, I used this twice. The first time I used it, I used it with a product that didn't quite make my hair very nice. So I used it again um, about two weeks ago, maybe two washes ago. And um, as you can see, <laughs> um, I, this butter is okay. I wouldn't say that it would be a staple only because it act more as like a oil on my hair than a butter. I mean, it was a good sealer, but um, I did have to um, re-moisturize my, reseal my hair, go back in. So it didn't last that long. Um, and I don't know, maybe, you know, it could have been because of the leave-in that I used. Um, I'm not sure. But with my hair, the only oil that really penetrates and soaks into my hair is castor oil. I love great seed oil, but not to use to seal with. I um, tried it. My hair works well with it, but it just sits on top of my hair. Ca um, coconut oil acts as a protein on my hair, so I cannot use coconut oil. So this kind of, um, it, it kind of was like I sealed with an oil, but it is very moisturizing. It did, you know, help to moisturize, you know, felt like it was moisturizing, you know, the, the leave-in that I put in my hair didn't quite work for my hair. So um, this kind of helped you know, bring a little life back to it, but it just didn't do well as a sealer. And I put a lot to, um, you know, in my hair when I sealed with it. Um, actually, I used it this week and I, you know, I went back through, I saw that my hair was getting a little parched, you know, whereas with other butters that I used, it lasted at least four or five days before I had to re-moisturize. But with this, I was able to get a good three days, I would say. So um, this is a good butter. As you can see, I have a long time to go before I use all of this and with all of the other butters I just showed you. But I don't think that I would repurchase it again. My next butters that I bought back in the summer, and I just love her scent. I love her... Um, well, her fragrance, you know, she put in her butters. I love her personality is Nurika with Bake Shop Butters. And when I first got these in 
July. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Um, and if y'all don't know about Bake Shop Butters, I don't know, y'all must have been hiding under a rock. Her, her, her fragrances are to die for. I use this on my hair and my body. Um, I use this on my hair when I first got it because I, I love the scent so much. I just wanted to put it on my hair. I wanted to put it on my body. So I used it on both. And I will say that this did penetrate my hair really well. It, um, I had just had surgery, so I couldn't really like wash my hair or anything. And so what I did was I just put this on my hair when I, I did manage to get in to wash my hair and I just put this on and it really had my hair feeling really soft um, and sealed really well. I didn't have a problem with this and I just love this on my body. Every time I would put this on, you know, this is Sunrise uh, Cupcake and this is Lemon Cake. Every time I would put these on and I would go out, not every time, but most of the time when I would put those on, I would go out, people would say, you smell good. What kind of perfume are you wearing? And I'm like, I'm not wearing any perfume. It's a butter, you know. Um, so I like Bake Shop Butters. Now, this one is by Heritage Hydration. It is Mango Cloud. And um, I use this on my skin and my hair. And it smells really good. It's like a citrus, citrus. Um, to me, it's like a citrus scent. As you can see, it is um, a butter. You know, it's a creamy butter. It's not. It emulsifies very well. I put this on my hair, and I did not like the way it felt on my hair. Probably because it has coconut oil in it as the second ingredient. So it probably has too much coconut oil in it for my hair. Um, I didn't really care for the way it made my hair feel. Um, so what I did was I used this on my body. My skin felt so soft after I put this on my body. So although this is, and this is for hair and body. So you can use, this is a double duty um, butter as well as the bake shop butters are double duty butters. The rest of them, I believe, is just for hair that I showed. Um, yeah, and so if you're looking, you know, if your hair likes coconut oil, this will work for you. But my hair do not like coconut oil or it has to be, I don't know. I don't know if it's certain brands of coconut oil or what. But um, this did not, I didn't really care for this on my hair, but I loved it on my skin. Um, I mean, it just soaked into my skin so, so nice and my skin was so soft and it smells really good. I don't, I don't know if she, she probably do still um, carry this, the Mango Cloud. Um, I think she just did a video and said her store was closed. So you may not be able to go check this out until I don't know um, maybe the end of December when she opened back up after Christmas but those are all my butters that I actually use or have used on my hair most of them um, I have not used them on my hair in a while like the bake shop butters the mango cloud but the rest of them, them you know I have used recently and I do use them and if I don't use it on my hair, I use it on my body. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the the comments. You know, um, they really, you know, put a smile on my face and, um, you know, just let me know that I'm not, you know, kind of like wasting my time or, you know, that people really do like my videos. So, um you know, I thank you for the kind comments and the likes, you know, and the comments, period. Um, so, you know, keep, you know, um, watching the vids. Hopefully you like, you know, what I'm talking about. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you won't be disappointed. 
and uh, leave your comments in the box below. Peace.